Hey, what's up guys? Sam from Cubi Studios here, back finally in the Expert Mode series. We took about a month off to finish up Dawn of Destiny really quick before Legacy of the Duelist came out. And finally, a climactic return, we're going to finish off the original Yu-Gi-Oh! Seri Yu series by dueling Yami Yugi, the Pharaoh, Atem, as he is frequently called. Well, actually only called for like the last season of the show, but still. He's going to be using his iconic Dark Magician, so I'm going to also use my Spellcaster deck and probably get wrecked. Because it's the Pharaoh, and he's better with spellcasters, probably. Let's do this. So yeah, I'm setting the stage for Legacy of the Duelist, coming out soon. Probably August, early September-ish. So I finished up Dawn of Destiny really quick. And now I'm going back to the Expert Mode series. And this is probably going to be the only Yu-Gi-Oh! series I do until Legacy of the Duelist comes out. And then I'll do these both at the same time. Wow, this is looking really bad already, and this is the first turn. Anyway, also... I got a new TV stand, so my TV's raised slightly higher, and I don't know if that's going to make me look weird in the webcam, because I'm looking up higher now. I also, I probably could have just not mentioned it, and that would have been fine. Special summon the effect of Fiend Sanctuary. This token cannot attack. Excess damage against the controller from battle with this token is received by your opponent instead. Pay a thousand life points during your standby phase. If you do not pay a thousand life points, this token is destroyed. Oh, dope. So I'm just going to not attack that, and then I'm going to kill that by setting... Old Vindictive of Magician. If you control a spellcaster type monster, I do not. I'm going to let him pay a thousand for this, because I assume he will. It's only the first turn, and I'm going to take that out. Nope, didn't mean to go battle phase. I meant to end the phase. Whoops. So yeah, this could be a fun duel. I really like my new TV stand a lot. It looks better, and... Oh shit. He didn't pay the thousand life points. Never mind. So I'm going to take some damage this turn. That sucks, but I am going to get rid of this fucking thing. Damn. Okay. Tribute that target and special summon one spellcaster type monster from your hand, and then you can destroy one monster on the field. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to special summon this, because it's a spellcaster. Tribute it, and then special summon... I guess any of these guys, really. They're all 1,400. Uh, we'll do this. No? Wait, yes. We'll su I'm going to summon you. Activate the effect of a card, my magic card. Boom. Tribute mine. let do special summon you. And I can destroy a monster. You. How'd that feel? Check me out. We're doing- or okay, we're kind of evenly matched here. He's got a slight lead, but we both did, had a straight-up direct attack. He had quite the better first draw than I did, obviously, getting fucking Red Eyes Black Skull Dragon or whatever the fuck that was called. Swords Revealing Light. Rough. That's okay, though. Burn to the Mighty is really going to help me out until he gets something fucking stupidly powerful, probably. Activate this. I should have summoned Hannibal first so I could have gotten the spell counter and then destroyed. Oh, never mind. Okay. Can I? Oh, it's a face-up trap. Never mind, I'm totally wrong. What can I special summon here? Uh, nah, I don't want that. Eh, nah, I don't want that. Because this guy's got two counters on it right now, and I'd rather not waste them. Let's just... End phase, I can't attack, right? Ugh. Okay, I like my positioning here, kind of. All I know is that at any moment he could probably get Dark Magician Girl or something like that, and that would suck. I'm just going to keep summoning these guys for some weird reason. Does it have to be just, yeah, face-up monster. Okay, so I'm not going to waste his effect by destroying one of my own monsters. Because <laughs> I could, I do have enough to, well, yeah, just activate this. Because I need to start placing my spell counters anyway. Um... Huh, where I should I put him on my spell or on my field card? Yeah, let's put him on I can put him on my field. Oh marshmallow, nice. We're gonna put him on my field card so that way it can go to any of their effects, not just one's effect. Because I believe I can take from that field card to activate their spell counter things, right? Uh should I nah, I'm not gonna set marshmallow. I'm just gonna leave him in my hand for now. Because I'd rather have monsters on the field that can attack. I don't really need to be on the defensive right now. I don't need to waste that space. 
Once he fucking wipes my field, which I'm sure he will, because he's fucking Yugi, I'll set him. Probably in main phase two when Mirror Force here fucking destroys all my monsters, but let's attack. Uh, you can attack first. Nope. Damn it. That's fine. I can use her effect to destroy it uh, next turn. Or not her effect. Blast Magician. I don't know if Blast Magician is a dude. Fuck the knights, man. That sucks. Main phase two. Alright, we're gonna place this on the spell card. We're gonna activate the effect of Blast Magician. Get rid of you. That'd be two counters, right? Yep. Pull the counters from that. So I didn't lose any from Blast Magician. Blast Magician's still ready. Oh, can I do this twice? Nice. Okay. Let's get rid of both of those, then. Dope. Alright. So Yugi doesn't have any monsters on the field now. Okay, I like that. That worked out better than expected. I really would like a monster with a little bit higher, uh, no, 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 a little bit higher attack, so I could actually kill something in defense position, but I'll take these thousand life points back to put me back in the lead, and then get another spell counter for everybody. Look at that, three spell counters. We're gonna use up the last one on this trap card. See, if I could get a direct attack in, we'd win. This would be, this would be done. This duel, anyway. But I just don't know. It has to be a face-up monster, so I can't use it yet. Oh, maybe you can do it. Damn it! Alright, main phase two. That sucks. Each time a spell card is activated, play Funk Spell. Blah, blah, blah. I don't need to read it. It's a fact I'm gonna kill it. Last Magician. Take this out. Yep. Use those two. There we go. And we'll end phase. He got lucky there. That was very close. If I had used two spell cards. Could have had some direct attacks going. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see. Let's figure out what this is before I start setting monsters, right? Direct attack. I called it. I knew that was Mirror Force. Ah. It's okay, though. I knew- I'm surprised he didn't activate Mirror Force sooner, but that's okay. I still have Marshmallow. Ooh, I sat on the main- second main phase. Again, setting monsters on the sec- on the main phase two is something I learned, uh, in the comments. I mean, I should have been an obvious thing to learn, but yeah. Something I learned from, ooh. Can I? That sucked. Oof, that sucks. But Marshmallow is my fucking wall, so that's great. As I was saying, though, I like to learn new strategies and stuff from people in the comments, which always happens. People in the comments are much better than me, and I like interacting with you guys because I always reply to every comment, as you guys know if you're a frequent viewer on this channel. So yeah, comment strategies, all sorts of other stuff I should be picking up. Because again, I learned my set your monster on the fucking second main phase, not the first one, just in case something shitty goes bad when you attack or whatever. Things like that. Wow, this is still the first duel, man. Uh, didn't, doesn't he have a flip effect? Oh, no, he doesn't. Whoops. Don't need to bother summoning him, because I still have Marshmallow, and that would die to Dark Magician anyway. I have to unlock my computer to make sure I don't drop frames in the recording. This could be a long one. Ooh, I got my Dark Magician. Aha! I have a significant lead here, but I could at any moment go wrong... Because, oh, just kidding, fuck you. Activate Fissure, get rid of your Dark Magician. Give me another spell counter. And then I can set this pretty confidently now. And then get my Dark Magician out next turn. Maybe, I don't know though. Because I like having Marshmallow on the field. I'm always very, nope. I don't want you summoning anything, fuck you. You're not getting away with that. Because that's probably Dark Magician again. Or something stupid. Soul Taker. Lame. What the fuck? Well, there goes Marshmallow, and I got a thousand life points for it, but definitely not worth it. 
That's nothing I can use. Hmm. Now we're in a tricky situation. We're almost stalemating. This is really cool. This is probably the most fun I've had in expert mode. I say, oh, and I got Marshmallow back. Yes, okay. See, now I could sacrifice for Dark Magician, but I don't want to risk it because I know. Oh, here we go. This is safer. I can summon for uh, Dark Magician Girl and then equip it with... Uh... Okay, so I guess I could have summoned La -la -la, Dark Magician, but that's okay. Oh, it's in either player's graveyard, so that's a 3,000 attack. Nice, okay. But this is my big concern. Yep. Oh, I lose 500 for that? Oh, but I still gained 1,000. Okay. For a second, I thought that was the effect of my thing. All right, we're good. Uh, I don't know what I'm paying the spell, this counter thing for. Also, if I draw that one, I think it's like Dark Old Sage something. Dude, I only need seven counters here, and then I can special summon that big fucker. Uh, this can start saving me monsters now with uh, my fucking spell, this thing. I can prevent both of these guys from dying, even if it, he's got another mirror force. So let's do that. Ha! Ha ha, I duped you into using Karibo first. For exactly enough to win the first round against Yugi. Alright, I'll take that. Or, the Pharaoh, excuse me, it's not Yugi. It says Yama Yugi, but it's the Pharaoh. Anyway, round two, let's do this. Hopefully I can beat Yugi, Yama Yugi, in just two turn the rounds. Oh shit, that was a really close first duel. That was pretty fucking awesome. Alright. So here's the question of what to do for this first turn, right? If I set this, then whoever Yugi plays first will die. But if I set Marshmallow, I can set summon Dark Magician Girl next turn. Let's do that. Because one, I always like Marshmallow. I'd like to test the waters, because maybe Yugi doesn't attack. Maybe he's got something planned where he's just going to one-shot whatever monster I get. Or Dark Skilled Magician. You attack that, that's a good call. <laughs> okay. Then I can summon Dark Magician Girl and kill it, right? Possibly. Oh, Card Trader, nice. I like Card Trader a lot. We're gonna play Card Trader. You're gonna get that, but it's not gonna matter because I'm going to summon Dark Magician Girl. To, what is this? Okay. Battle phase, let's attack. Awesome. Killed you. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. This is a fun expert mode duel. I'm not like super pissed yet. I probably will be in a second once the Pharaoh decides to go hard. But this has been pretty fun. And one monster you control, destroy the first target, and then give control of the second target to your opponent. Big Shield Gardena. Okay. Activate the effect of card trader. Yup. You. Give me something better. Give me something better. Oh, there we go. Aha. Thank you, Marshmallow. You're always of great help to me. And we're going to summon Boss Blackluster Soldier. I don't want to fucking... Wait, what's the description? The player's turn with this card is face down. It's targeted by a spell card, change this card to face-up defense position. If you do, negate the spell card's activation. If this card is attacked, change it to attack position at the end of the damage step. There we go. Uh, what are the effects again? Target one monster in the field, banish that target face-up, this card cannot attack. During the damage step- okay, I can't use either of those effects right now. Whoop! There we go, that's- whew, that's gonna be huge damage. I got real lucky on that Black Luster Soldier summon. Uh, there's Black Luster Soldier, and then I have Black Luster Soldier Envy of the Envoy of the Beginning. Is there Envoy of the End, and is there just Black Luster Soldier? Isn't just Black Luster Soldier the ritual one, and he's like blue and green? Or he's like green or some shit? Why did he summon this in attack? What's his plan? Did he really summon that in attack just to fucking... I mean, you lost the duel because of that. Because I can attack twice with Blackluster Soldier. 
That was a very weird plan. Do okay. Let's just do that then. Let's just attack twice with Black Luster Soldier and win. Yes. And thank you for playing, Yugi. I'm surprised that he gave up the duel to kill that trap. Was that worth it? You could have just placed it. Well, I guess even if you placed it in defense, I could have attacked twice with Black Luster Soldier anyway. So I guess the duel was over. Boom. Oh, Mystic Box would actually be a good one for my Spellcaster deck. Toon Dark Magician Girl. So I don't know what that is. That looks cool, though. Uh, all right. I got some... We got some decent cards for that one, namely, I don't know if I already have this though, but Mystic Box is pretty cool. I might add that to my Spellcaster deck right after this video. So there you have it, folks. We finished off the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, the best series, and we're moving on to GX and dueling this weird fuck again, Chumley Huffington with his egg fucking nose that just looks like a hole in his face and his weird pigtail looking thing. He's a weird dude. And his fabled deck. So tune in next time as we start GX. Thank you guys for watching. Again, remember to share, subscribe, follow us on Twitter and Twitch. Those links are in the description. Uh, big heads up. Again, I've probably already mentioned this, but Le Legacy of the Duelist will be starting on this channel soon, so just remember that and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching. Bye. Have a good day.